At Jeff Sessions' confirmation hearing for Attorney General Senator Al Franken asked the question that led to Jeff Sessions recusing himself from the Russia investigation and might lead to much, much worse for Jeff Sessions. If there is any evidence that anyone affiliated with the Trump campaign communicated with the Russian government in the course of this campaign, what will you do? Senator Franken, I'm not aware of uh, any of those activities. I uh, have been called a surrogate at a time or two in that campaign, and I did have, not have communications with the Russians. Since then, Senator Sessions corrected his under oath testimony and revealed that he had two meetings with the Russian ambassador during the presidential campaign. Reports tonight indicate that he might have had a third meeting with Ambassador Sergei Kislyak. Joining us now, Senator Al Franken, whose new book is entitled Al Franken, Giant of the Senate. Uh, uh, Senator Franken, we're going to discuss your book a little later, but I wanted to get to this breaking news tonight. So this, uh, you had this moment in the hearing where he said no contact with the Russians. Very clear. Uh, he corrected that. And he, he didn't correct it for over 70 days. And he only corrected it after the Washington Post broke a story that he had met twice with Kislyak. So more than enough time for him to comb his memory, to comb his records, and find every conceivable meeting that could be applicable to that testimony. Yes, and we asked for a letter for him to explain this, and it was very unsatisfactory. And in fact, uh, Senator Leahy, and who's also on the Judiciary Committee, and I sent a private letter uh, to CIA, uh, then CIA Director Comey, Asking them FBI to, Director Comey. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, FBI Director Comey asking uh, him and the FBI to investigate whether, um, in fact, uh, Sessions had met other times uh, with Russians, including this meeting that we're talking about in the Mayflower. Uh, did you know about that meeting in the Mayflower when you sent that letter to the FBI director? Yes. Now, uh, it had been characterized one way, but we had some reason to believe that it that wasn't the case. It, it had been described in a way that he could plausibly say, I don't remember that. Um, but what's coming out today, I believe, is that that may not be the case. And if 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 this is true, that would be extremely uh, disturbing. And, and your letter with Senator Leahy to the FBI, you haven't publicly revealed that before. No. Uh, what about tonight's breaking news makes you feel that, that you should publicly reveal that you've asked for this investigation? Well, because it's tied very closely to this yeah. breaking news. Uh, we, you know, I've been in, uh, our office has been in contact with the FBI on this and they said they were crafting a response to us and it, it, it sounded to us that something was about to break on this. So, oh, so, so you're not completely surprised that, that this, has de this story has developed publicly now the way it has? No. Um, what can you tell us about, about what more you expect to find out about a Jeff Sessions meeting with Russians? Well, you know, again, this is a very uh, serious charge. If it's true, it's extremely disturbing, and um, I'd rather let it come out you, uh, you, the way it's going to come out. You said when we first discussed this on this program uh, that his, his omissions to your question uh, in the live testimony under oath, uh, you saw that as perjury at that time. What about this new revelation? Well, he, he testified falsely under oath, That's, um, and it seemed like that would be perjury, but um, uh, this obviously, you know, it, it depends how this comes out, uh, but this is, again, this fits a pattern with the Trump people. They don't act like people who have nothing to hide. And um, we've seen it with Kushner not disclosing meetings, uh, Flynn lying about meetings. This has been a pattern, 
and it's very, um, very serious. And it is a kind of stunning pattern that, that it's, a, it's across the board. It's hard to think of, has anyone of this administration, uh, when asked about contacts with Russians, been forthcoming and kind of opened their books and said, here, here's what I've done, here's everyone I've met? No, and, and this is when, this is something you're supposed to do uh, when you apply for a uh, security clearance, this is what Jared Kushner didn't do. Uh, this is uh, uh, Senator Sessions' letter to us was insulting uh, our intelligence when he said why he didn't do this. It actually contradicted him his own explanations within uh, in the press conference, uh, and when he recused himself, that was. Um, that was a significant moment. That's really what I had asked him. I had asked him if it turns out that there were these contacts, yeah. what, what would, would you, you do? do? Yes, yeah. And that was, and he uh, answered a question I didn't ask. He, then he offered, he pivoted, I guess, to, uh, and said, I have not, didn't meet with any of the Russians during the, any Russians during the campaign. A lot of people have thought that I was like playing three-dimensional chess and anticipating his pivot. Mm -hmm. I, he just answered a question I didn't ask, and maybe it was a, a, a pivot away from not recusing himself, but um, uh, he ended up recusing himself. Now we have a, uh, a, a special counsel who's going to be looking into this, and we will get to the bottom of this, I believe. I think Bob Mueller is the right guy to do it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.